There they go. These are the new rims for the Helkeezy right here, huh? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie like that. So it's supposed to be like what, some lightweight stuff? Yeah, they're pretty light. You grab on them, it's, it's pretty light, huh? Alright, G Squad, what's happening with y'all, baby? Tall guy carved views back with another legendary video, baby. Y'all see what time it is. You see the title, you see the thumbnail, you see the fresh <laughs> Kid that ooh wee man damn I'm doing some big things man listen here man y'all see the title y'all see the thumbnail man ain't nothing to it but to do it man let's just get right to it just take along with me throughout this whole video because we got some things that's happening then baby make sure you just don't skip them ass G squad you know what let me go ahead and start the hell keys for y'all because y'all ain't heard that thing burble up the life in a real long time and you see the red reason sitting right there let's just go ahead and start the beauty up baby <laughs> Alright, so maybe today wasn't the best day to take the hell keysy out, right? <laughs> Big snow out there right now. I know y'all see it, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm slipping everywhere too. I gotta hurry up and go get my um winter tires put on here, but I got some future endeavors planned, you know. Y'all see that. If y'all stay tuned, y'all subscribe to the channel as you're watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and all that good stuff, man. But uh this ain't the first time me driving. Look at Big slippity slide, 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 man. That's why my tire pressure light on right there, too. And for anybody who's wondering why that check engine light is always on, it's because uh, I think it was like the O2 sensors or something. The cats were taken out or something like that. So that's why that's all. Look, Ford Raptor right there, too. That's nice. Black one, too. But, um, yeah, man. Subscribe. Hit that bell. Stay tuned for all the legendary content coming y'all way because I got some legendary things planned for y'all, man. But uh, let me focus on this road because it's big uh, slippery. Slip, slip, slippity, slip, slip. I'm driving in some snow right now, too, Bart, in the hell keysy. I'm slipping everywhere right now. I need to hurry up and get them winter tires put on here. And I'm slipping everywhere. I got a beat cruise control. I ain't playing around. Yeah, that's um, that's a bad winter car. Let's just go with that. Oh, I've drove it around in the snow a little bit. It's been fun. Yeah, it doesn't make it right. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> got to get the winter tires put on here. <laughs> I think with the winter yeah. tires, though, I'll be cool because I've never done the winter tires on um my Hellcat. So I think it's I think it'll probably do really good. Because if I can drive it now in the snow with summer tires, even though I'm sliding everywhere, winter tires, I should at least be grounded as long as I ain't stabbing the throttle, you know what I mean? Well, those, those tires, those trolleys on there are kind of a cross between a winter and summer tire. They're kind of an all-season radio. Uh, they're not as good as the ones you stuck on the Kim's car, but they're not that bad either. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bet soon. Oh, I know you, the man. You be knowing all that stuff, Bart. All right, G Squad, I made it home, safe and sound. Woo wee! That joint was slipping and sliding everywhere. You can't even see the road right now. But um, I'm about to take the Ram Rizzi. That's my brother's Nissan Altima. He is in Mexico right now. The life of DNA. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel ASAP. He's doing some legendary things. I know he vlogged that whole experience while he's out there. So make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to his channel, click that bell, and uh, be notified whenever he posts one of them legendary videos that he's gonna be posting real soon he's got a whole bunch of them already up there right now so if you haven't watched those ones already go back and watch those but um his car is sitting here because obviously you know i'm gonna pick him up from the airport and all that stuff when he gets back with him and his wife um i'm gonna move that joint over here take the ram Reezy, then i gotta go run a few more errands but before i do that let me go get king out of the kennel side where he can use the bathroom <laughs> he knows not to come out of there look come on boy <laughs> full speed ahead go get boy look he loves the snow y'all can go crazy for the snow. What? 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 I know I miss you too. Go get it, boy. Go get it. Go use the bathroom. Come on. Go get it. <laughs> you smelling where I've been? Huh? You wanna make sure I ain't cheat on you and all the dogs? <laughs> what? Can't wait to get Queen, y'all. It's gonna be legendary when she come home. So we have the black Connie Corso and the blue Connie Corso. Boy and girl, king and queen. I gotta hurry up and get the winter tires put on the hell keys, man. <laughs> Cause that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That was big time crazy. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you already seen it long before this video went up. So that's why I always tell y'all, go follow me on Instagram and go follow me on Snapchat. Cause you're gonna catch it first on there. Look at King going crazy. Look. <laughs> That boy going nuts, man. But yeah, man, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. You're going to catch everything there first. Let's go ahead and let this guy use the bathroom. As soon as he's done going crazy. And then, um, yeah, we're going to get back on the road. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Oh, yeah, before I forget, make sure y'all go follow my dog, Greg Jennings YouTube channel. Follow him ASAP. Subscribe, hit the bell, smash the subscribe button. Then smash the bell button. The link is in the description below to his YouTube channel, man. Click the title of this video. It'll unfold. Boom, Greg Jennings YouTube channel, man. 
Click that link, subscribe to his channel, G Squad. I would greatly appreciate it, man. He's a legendary guy, and he has a legendary message that he would like to spread and share with the world, man. And the whole world needs to hear it. Trust me when I tell you that, man. So make sure y'all go ahead, give him a follow on Instagram. I got that floating up on the screen, and his Instagram is below as well. But make sure y'all definitely go to his YouTube channel and subscribe to that as well, man. My name is Greg Jennings, Super Bowl champion for the Green Bay Packers. I also played for the Minnesota Vikings and the Miami Dolphins. 10 years total in the National Football League. That is done and over with right now. Currently, I'm with Fox Sports. I'm an analyst on that network. I also broadcast games, color commentate. Check me out if you haven't. You know what, man? I'm tripping. Okay. Make sure y'all go to him and his wife's website as well, too, because they got some legendary clothes. Like, I do too. Shit, WWE got that website below, too. Y'all know what website that is. But yeah, go to him and his wife's website, man. They're doing some legendary things. Uh, I'm big, talking about big, monumental, ultra legendary things. So make sure y'all go ahead, give him a follow on the Instagram, give him a follow on the YouTube channel, subscribe to him, and make sure you go to him and his wife's store. They're doing some monumental things over that way, too. So click that link, browse what they got over there, man. And tell them, talk like Carver, you sent you, baby. G Squad, tell me something, man. Ain't the Ram Reezy just a butte? Look at that. Look how the woods just poke out. Oh, they almost tore my damn ACL and blew up my whole damn knee. Boy, ooh wee, that was about to be ugly. My whole life flashed before my eyes. I ain't gonna hold y'all, G-Squad. That was not scripted. That was very real, man. Got real scary real quick. But make sure y'all follow me on the Instagram, Snapchat. Subscribe if you watch this video. And make sure you give me a follow on that Facebook as well, man. Look at that joint. Look crazy, right? Let's go give her a startup. <laughs> Y'all wanna know one thing I'm really curious about right now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, is this right here, that step ladder. So, you know, we get Antarctic cold weathers up here in uh, Minnesota, so if y'all don't know that, y'all know now, but I'm wondering, uh, is the motors gonna go out on those uh, this winter? So we'll see, because I heard a lot of people say like, those can freeze up and lock up, and yeah, they be all jacked up, so we'll see. Ooh wee, man, it is freezing up in here. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. No cap, ain't that what the new kids say now? No cap, no cap, man, I'm being dead serious. No cap, is that how they supposed to say it? I don't know. <laughs> so G-Squad, let me tell y'all what I've been thinking about doing in the Ram Reese. I've been thinking, I've been wanting to go like off-roading, rock climbing, you know, some doing some snow drifting, donuts type stuff. Comment below and let me know what would be some real cool, like fun videos, some off-roading kind of cool stuff to do in a Ram Reese. you know what I mean? And obviously, you know, I'm gonna make some content with it and all that. So let me know, man, because I'm thinking about doing a whole lot. I definitely gotta do some rock climbing for sure, or some mudding or whatever. Whatever. I gotta do all of it, man. So comment below and let me know what y'all be uh, uh, think y'all what do y'all think would be good for a good video to put up there, man? Because I think it'd be hella fun to do something like that. I always want to do it. I find myself going over curves for no damn reason just because you know I got this big ass truck. So like I can only imagine how fun it is to like go up a mountain or a hill or rocks or you know snow drifting or something like that. So comment below and let me know, baby. Now we're here to pick up my little dog from school. What's up, champion? <laughs> yeah, I got groceries back here. I had to go stop and grab some groceries. Y'all see all the good stuff. How was school, dog? Okay. I'm a little late, huh? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, it's okay. I had to go get it. You matching the interior, though. What you do in school today? There's a fight in there. Oh, for real? Yeah. Just now? Yeah. Who, I was watching. Was it a good fight? Nah, hey, neither they one of them could fight. Each other and then, huh? Neither one of them could throw them things. They went in, like they were pushing each other and they're throwing each other to the ground and everything. Oh, that went in a real fight. Swarm. Of course, try to knock the whole head off the mook, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. Well, say bye to them, champ. Bye to them, champ. <laughs> I wanted to let the snow just pile up on the hell keys before I started this thing up, man. But anyway, let's go ahead and start this joint up. Come on, King. Let's go, boy. Good oh, boy. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> All right, y'all, so now we got the Hell Keezy parked up in the garage. I really just wanted to, like I told y'all, I just wanted to get that snow on there just so that way uh, I can get a cool picture, you know, for the gram. Follow me on Instagram, Tall Guy Car Reviews with an underscore. Make sure you go ahead and give me a follow on there ASAP. And make sure y'all follow me on the Snapchat, Corey Barrett. 
One word, look at the Red Breezy, look at the Hell Keezy, ooh wee. Just like that, we are rolling up to my dog, Bart's at High Tech Motorsport. And as you can see, we are in the Nissan Altima. This is my brother's The Life of DNA. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel ASAP. The link is in the description below. Make sure you click that link. Everything will unfold in the title of the video. Click that link and subscribe, baby. And uh, make sure y'all also add him on the Instagram as well. Um, Derry Jones on there too, man. So make sure y'all go ahead and give him a follow on the Instagram as well. That also, the link is below as well for that as well. There they go, right there. My guy, Bart and Steve. Just the two I came to see. What are we doing? What's happening, fellas? We see I'm in the Nissan Altima today. Is it your brother's car? Yep. I got nothing. I just got to put those those ice bags in the back of the Ram Breezy like you told me because I think sliding around everywhere with the mud tires. You would think like a car that big and lifted up with the rims and tires would just plow through the snow. Before I had that truck, I thought like those kind of trucks just it was just effortless. I thought the bigger the lift, the bigger the tires, like you know what I mean. The more it poked out. You got a truck. You got all this weight. It's down here. You raise it up. You make it top heavy. Yeah, that's true. When you think about it like that, one plus one is two, ain't it, Steve? Well, you got it in four-wheel drive when you're in the snow. Yes, no, maybe. You know what? I haven't even checked that. Yeah. You're right. I got I to check that out, Steve. Four-wheel drive is going to spin really badly. I think I might got it in two-wheel drive. I would do it all It time. automatically defaults to two-wheel drive, huh? Yeah. Okay, then I've been having it in two-wheel drive. Knob in the dash or push buttons. Is it is, too. I've used it before, but I always put it. I got to put it in four-wheel. Yeah. You're right. Would he put some snow tires on the SRT8? This is the one the whole thing blew yeah. up, right? Didn't this whole thing blow up or something? Like the drive shaft or something? Yeah, he broke the axle. The axle, that's what it was. Okay. What the all-wheel drive Jeep. Yeah. When you break one axle, it won't pull itself out of the way. Oh, he got the drag radios up front, but he got some like some what? Snow just some tires. these ain't snow tires. Those are his snow tires. These can't be snow tires. They ain't got enough grooves in them joints. Are these snow tires? That's what he uses them for. Oh, that's what he uses them for. Okay, because they look like just pure summer ones, and those well, look like just more drag anywhere. radios. Huh? You <laughs> wouldn't get them too far. Yeah, no, nah, they ain't going to do that. But even if, but it don't make sense, though. So how you got a drag radio on the front if you use it for the snow, and then that one right there is just like a summer one? It's all wheel drive. But still, how's that one going to move? That's, that's going to be spinning. Steve? It's all wheel drive. Steve, get together, Steve. What, what think is about it. Okay, let's think about it. See, that's your steer, right? Okay. All right, it's gonna spin and the rear is gonna spin, but when the rear catches, then this is gonna be pushed. You know, Even though this could be spinning, it's still gonna get pushed by the rear when it in, uh, gauges. In the snow? The, yeah, if the rear catches, you're getting pushed. But I don't know if those are catching too well. You see the snow outside, Steve? Hey, you'll, you'll see. But it still don't make sense because it's still a drag radio on the he front, Steve. Last he drove it last winter, just like this. All winter, just like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he need to make a YouTube channel. What's this? My toy. Your toy? Oh, yeah, you sent me a picture of this, I think. Or no, you showed me a picture. I can't remember. What the hell? Steve, what the hell is this? It's a 51 Studebaker champion. Oh, a Studebaker. I've heard that name before. That's, a, that's an infamous name, huh? Yep. I think I might have heard of my mom or somebody talking about a Studebaker before. These are super old school. What's this, like a, a 1842? No, 51. 1851? 19. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought the 1800 wheels had wheels made of wood and all that stuff on there. <laughs> okay, Steve. You got a lot of work to do on this thing, my man. Hey, we got the YouTube channel on the back. Oh, this is your YouTube channel right here? Oh, this is like your nephews or something, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and give uh, Steve's nephew a YouTube channel or his uh, YouTube channel a subscription. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. See, and then I got picked up the tabs. Okay. Because, yeah, as you notice, all the rust on it. Yeah, I didn't notice. It looks pretty <laughs> spiggity span to me. No. <laughs> For the price. Are you going to have a chopper touch it? Oh, me and chopper played a little bit, but you'll like this part. Oh, they're going to chopper right there. Chopper, what's up, my man? Chopper in here working. Look, look at this phenomenal work Chopper does, man. Y'all didn't see the build because last time, if you if you G Squad, you watch every video, you remember last time it wasn't all shiny like this last time. Last time it just had the primer on there, right, Chopper? No, I had part of it down to bare metal. Oh, for real? Yeah, now it's all down to bare metal. Test fit the chrome so I can do the metal work on it. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's getting it done. Chopper, you the man, bro. How you been doing, baby? I'm doing good. You well, man, I'm blessed, brother. I can't complain, man. What kind of car is this right here? 55 Buick. You said what? Did you get a new dog? Yeah, no, I, our girl, Queen, 
We get her when, when I, uh, I might pick her up when I go back to LA if her training is done. But my guy, Real Deal Dog Training, shout out to him. Uh, go subscribe to his channel and follow him on Instagram. But uh, yeah, if, uh, if she's done with her training by then, I'll just pick her up while I'm out there. Yeah, but otherwise, they're just going to bring her down here. So she's going to go from that great LA weather to Minnesota weather. Poor dog, huh? <laughs> should just be under the covers all the time. Yeah. <laughs> there they go. These are the new rims for the Hell Keezy right here, huh? What's up, Bill? What's up, man? How you feeling, baby? What you over here working on? Oh, okay. Yeah, say what's up to him, Bill. What's going on, man? <laughs> Bill gonna give me his trailer to tow the Hell Keezy. Yeah, the Ram Reason gonna be towing the Hell Keezy all the way down to Phoenix, Arizona, in LA, man. We're gonna be getting it done. But here goes the new rims right now for the Hell Keezy. These are the front skinny ones, right? Yep. Oh, them legendary. I like that too. What's that right? Like a like a black chrome or something like that? Exactly what it is, yeah. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I like that. So it's supposed to be like what, some lightweight stuff? Yeah, it's pretty light. You grab on it, it's it's Pretty light, huh? Oh man, for like two tons, Bart. How are we gonna win with two tons on the wheel? No, I'm so, scared. That's okay. We got uh, we got demonology. We're gonna pick up 100 pounds. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 200, 300. <laughs> that that's my guy right there, uh, man. These are, so we're only gonna use the rims. These are from Ray Star. The owner of the company gave us these off his personal Hellcat to use in all the pictures. Oh, okay. So for free? Uh, no. Oh, damn. You know, I always like the free. Yeah, yeah I know, baby. Okay, Everybody. but but we got a substantial discount. We got enough of a discount that I can afford to do this for you and send you down to go with you to race. See, Bart, my then, man. Then I'm taking all my shit back. I'm going to sell some of that. <laughs> They'll take it too. You put it on your YouTube channel. So tell them you're going to be doing the whole build because you're going to have it all on your channel, the whole build from the wheels to the skinnies yep. to everything for the Hellcat. Everything you're going to be doing. Yep. Got the interior, put the 370 gear in the back, the new, new axle shafts, the lightweight ones, the strong ones, the 1500 horse. Front and rear bumper supports are coming out, side door supports are coming out, carpet's coming out, sound is coming out, amp in the back's coming out, speakers in the back's coming out. Damn, you're going full crazy. Race seat's going into it, one race seat's kind of cool, it looks, it looks sexy. Okay. <laughs> so everything, is good. you'll make a video of every single thing you're doing to the Hell Keezy yeah, on your we channel. We're going to start out with a full car and we just start taking stuff out. We have all the guys taking stuff out, we're going to end up with a big pile, we got our four corner scales, we can weigh the car. Yep. And then we'll keep weighing it as we put the different pieces in. To get ready for this drag strip. Yeah. The wheels are on. So these tires are coming off. They just okay. have to be on the owner's car. They're, they're heavy by 10 pounds each oh. over the race masters that are a lighter weight tire. These are coming off. These are uh, regular drags. They're not the uh, actual drag slicks that we got coming in. They're, they're E.T. Street, Mickey Thompson SS's, and we're going to use the R's. Okay, so, future video. So all this shit's coming up. Why they sent me one extra rim? I appreciate it from Rainstar, but we got three fronts. Okay, and that's it. That's all of it right here for the. Yeah. Wow, that's, this is the spare rim. Oh wow, that's crazy. So these are. Oh, so we got rims for the back too. Yeah. I was wondering why you was pointing down there because I just saw. I thought you was just told me for the front. So we got back rims too. Yeah, we're taking. They're already off, set. We're oh wow. Off, we're taking off twenty pounds a piece in the back. With the, with the rims, these are the lightweight ones. This, these are brand new from Race Star. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, be careful, bro. I don't want you blowing out your back. Yeah, you know, there you go. I want to keep later. Wow. Okay, so we're not keeping these tires, you said? Nope. Scott okay. Tires. Wow. These are Hello. nice. Hello. That's legendary right here, y'all. So we got a whole new. What's the difference between these rims and the, the old rims, like pound wise, like weight wise? They're 10 pounds lighter. 10 each. pounds lighter each. Yeah. So that's about a 40 pound drop. Well, no, the fronts are 20 pounds lighter because we were going down. See how skinny these things are? They're, oh, okay. They're a five inch rim. We're going down to a little skinny tire, like a drag tire on, on front. Okay, well, go ahead and answer that call, Burgers. Oh, I know yes. you got a business to run, baby. You don't stop and talk, I guess, here. You know what I'm saying, Steve? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, he's got all day. <laughs> Bart's a workaholic, man, just like myself. So he just does it with this, and I do it with the YouTube, man. But there goes the skinnies, and then you got the back ones right here, man. Then these ain't the tires we're gonna be keeping, but uh, you know we got new tires on the way. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. Go subscribe to Bart's YouTube channel, ASAP High Tech Motorsport. He's gonna have the whole build and everything he's doing to get ready for the drag strip out in Dallas, Texas. He will be doing that and putting a, a video up with every part of the build on his YouTube channel. So the only way you could catch that is by going to his YouTube channel and subscribing, man. So make sure y'all go do that. Stop everything you're doing right now and go subscribe to his channel, man. Will this put all the skeptics and non-believers of the 1,000 horsepower, once it hooks up and it makes the time that you want to make, 
based off times, does that show like what the horsepower number is, or will we be able to actually get to hook up to dyno? How I'll how does that work? Hook up to the dyno with the drag tires once I get the lightweight wheels on it, and I'm running pure race gas. So I don't have to worry about detonation. Remember, my number one thing is you let yeah. you going all over the country, which I have a bunch of times since you modded it. Like your other buddy down in Chicago that's broke his motor at least twice. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing that. That's yeah, it. we don't want to do that. So yes, the, the timing is conservative. It does make a thousand. It'll make over 800 wheel when I put the. Uh, all I gotta do is add two degrees of timing or get it to hook up with a couple of big fat guys in the back, Steve. <laughs> where, where, where is that guy? <laughs> we'll get it to hook up, we'll get it, uh, the tires, the new tires, the drags will be on the back with the lightweight stuff and they are really sticky, so they'll take care of my problem versus what we had before. All right, so then we'll have the times and the, 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 the what's it, dyno times and the damn dragster times, power, so we'll have both. First power and torque, we'll have that all wicked up and Demonology can watch it and then we'll get a chance because he's running 9.8 Five, what? which is really fast at 135, and I'm hoping we can keep up with him. So he is just a stock demon. Yeah, but he's got the drags on it. He's got some other stuff going on. He's taking some weight out of the car. He, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't going down there with a, with a guy that doesn't know what's going on. He knows what's going no, on. No, demonology is the man. Yeah. And yeah, I'm guessing sure. when he sees our numbers and what we're doing that he'll maybe take a little more weight out and stuff. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> soup it up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, but no matter what, like, I feel like even... You, even if you're like the best of driver, you can't beat a demon uh, uh, a demon without a, your Hellcat doesn't have a trans brake, right? Like, cause it has the trans brake. That's a big part. Yeah, it's a big part to get it to launch, but that comes where the driver has to feel. We're gonna leave the traction control on for you. Um, I have my job is to make the car shift weight, which the demon has that automatically with their suspension kit, and he has a trans brake and a thriller chiller that chills the intake air too. So I figure we got to be about three, four hundred pounds lighter and about a hundred horse more because he's probably going to get you out of the hole by a couple, three lengths. Yeah, I was going to say, because you got to cut a perfect light too, just to even be even close, right? Like yeah. what he does, he's good at cutting the light. He told me about he's that. He's very good. Yeah, he's a point, I saw a point zero two two, point zero two always. He's on his game. You're not going to do that. But the good news is when you, when your timer starts, if you don't leave the beam, it still gives you the time. You might get beat by a length or two, but you Oh, might. that's why some cars just wait there and then go later? Yes. Oh. Ah. Yeah, well, that's that's staggered racing. That's where you've got this guy times in for that. I'll, I'll go through that all the time okay. in Dallas, because we'll have like 10 hours of... Just leisure time. Just Pretty much, yeah. I think it's about, about 24 hours, ain't there? 21 hours or something? Well, I'm gonna drive a lot faster than most people, so you just hang on. <laughs> okay. No, okay, well, wait. <laughs> what about, what about... <laughs> Steve. No, so what about... um? on our way down because I'm going back to Phoenix yep. uh, this Sunday. So This is all about you and when I get the Hellcat. You know, I need it for a month because I got stuff true. coming in. I got rear end, I got shafts, I got VMR stuff. I got to gut the entire car. I got to put a tune into it. I got to take all the all the yeah. weight out of all the reinforcements around the car and change the So path. the sooner I get it to you, the better pretty much. Yeah, I need a month because I have other paying jobs. That oh, oh I know. Stuff. You know, I don't like to pay. I know that. <laughs> That's why we need to get that thing here. We can't live forever on this stuff because, but, you know, you're going to be all gone for most of December for sure. For sure, yep. That means i got to have the car for January because we're pushed back to February. Okay. Because i gotta get, I got a lot of parts i got to get. If these just happen to come up to the guy at Racecraft, the owner, and, you know, good people, and I'm like, yeah, that's exactly It was just worked out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should I tow the Hellcat? No, drive it. Drive it? Drive the Hellcat down and you've got the Pirelli all-season tires on it. I did that on purpose for you. I was driving it the other day, bro, and I called you and I was slipping everywhere. Yeah, well, don't do that. When it's slippery out, stay home. But if I got to drive to Phoenix... Then you wait one day. It didn't go, but I still got to come back. Yeah, and then you watch the weather and goes, hey, it's going to be zero degrees and sun shining. That's a good day for you. Okay, fine. That's what if I should do ever, then. If you try driving a trailer, truck, trailer, in a snowstorm or in ice, you will crash. I would crash. I would. Yeah. Steve you said you would or you wouldn't? Steve just volunteered. He's going to take you down to Phoenix. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, come on, Steve. <laughs> pay for the gas and pay for everything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, Bart just put me onto this place right here. I'm going to go to the drag strip uh, December 7th. Right. right? Friday night. And Friday I can just drives. walk in there and with the Hell Keezy. Yep. So I'm going to drive just the Hellcat. I'm not going to tow it with the Ram like I was going to yeah, with the Ram Reezy. Yeah, bad idea. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just drive the Hellcat by itself. Yep. And then when I get there, uh, December 7th, I'm going right to the drag strip and I'm bringing the Hellcat there. Uh, practice. Just for practice. Yes. Yeah. Practice. On the 275s. Because yep. we got to throw it out there. Disclaimer, 275s. Yeah, we got, we got the all-season terrain radials on there so he can drive all over the country. But he'll have fun getting a chance to play with the lights 
see what's going on there, how the car feels when you're wide open throttle side by side with something. Run some else. 30s or 40s, a couple <laughs> passes. Yeah, 30s or 40s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll be calling me on like run two, go, what am I doing wrong? I'm definitely going to call you when I get there too. I'm going to call you when I get oh, there you'll, too. You'll like it. It's, yeah, it's, I'm going to call Demonology too. You can give me some pointers. Yeah, Demonology is great. Maybe you'll come over. Demonology, yep. drive over to Phoenix. Not that uh, far. Yeah, they're probably about, about 15 hours though. But he could. Yeah, he, I'm gonna give him a call when I get when I get done making this vlog. See if he can come over there. He can come over there. Yeah, he can come over there. He got that. He got that satchel he's a bag. Jet, right? He's got a it's something like that. He got. I think he got a jet. Uh, I think he got 727, 747. One of those two, too. Yeah, yeah. And he got the one with the upstairs, downstairs. The same one that Donald Trump be driving in. You know, we don't support what he do, but you know, yeah. <laughs> so listen, this is what we're gonna do. So since I'm being Phoenix, December 7th at Wild Horse Pass Motorsport Park. Bringing the hill keys even for some test runs and some practice runs. I'm gonna bring some merch. I'm gonna be with my brother, the life of Jeremy Barrett. He's flying down here to Minnesota, and then we are gonna take the hill keys together, uh, and we're gonna drive down there, and we're gonna do some uh, passes, and maybe we might even do something in his bloody cat since he has yeah. a stock charger hill cat. Yeah. So then maybe yeah, it'd be kind of compare the two and see how it works out, right? Yeah. So you guys can have fun doing that stuff. It's all legal inside the park. I prefer you do it down there rather than on the street. You get a chance to go from a dead stop, and you get a chance to work with the lights. Okay. You don't figure out how to go through the burnout box when the guy waves you yeah, in, yep. tells you to stop, and gives you the finger. You know, there's all, all that kinds good of stuff. stuff. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do it. You squad, I'm going to be there. So if y'all in the, anywhere in the vicinity, at Demon Knowledge, if you watch because I know you're watching, he, he G Squad, even though he got his own channel, he's definitely G Squad. <laughs> um, and I know you're rocking my guy, Bart and Bart Rock, with you heavily, man. Uh, come down to Phoenix, man. Or if you're in Phoenix, I'll be there December 7th. I'll be there around 6 or 7 o'clock. You know I'm going to have some merch on me. Got to have the merch, Bart. Got to have the merch. I had a merch, so if you want to pull up, get some pictures, get some merch, chill, watch it, you know, as I go up and down the drive strip in the hill, Keezy, whether I'm embarrassing, because I might be, I'm pretty sure I'll be a little embarrassing. No, you'll be fine. You think so? No. Okay. <laughs> Bart, Bart got a lot of faith in me. <laughs> so, well, I'm going to be there. So if you're G-Squad and you're in the Rena vicinity, make sure you be there. Demonology, same. Anybody else who want to show up, hey, listen, the door is open to the public, baby. We'll be there. Right, Bart? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be there. I'll be here working well, you know, for get, the car to come in yeah. so I can work on the damn thing. He been on my ass about that. So when I get back, we gonna, I'm going to drop. As soon as I get back to Minnesota, everything's going to be documented. Y'all going to get videos every single day like I give it to y'all. And when I get back, I'm going to drop the hell keys off to him. He's going to do his touches. Y'all going to see the whole build on his channel. Go to his channel one more time. High Tech Motorsport. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And don't skip the ads because he's monetized now, all right? And then after that, we're going to go to Demonologies in Dallas. And then we're going to race him there. And we're going to do a bunch of other legendary stuff while we're there. So make sure y'all stay tuned throughout everything. Anything else you want to tell them, Bart? No, it's going to be a lot of fun for you, though. So you're going to enjoy it. While yep. I'm freezing my ass off here in Minnesota, you're going to Phoenix. And then L.A. It's blessings. <sighs> it's a blessing, baby. Well, how come I got to be blessed in the cold? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to tell you this, too. So <laughs> Dave uh, from... I know that's what <laughs> I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It's okay, Bart. This is Minnesota. We should be used to it by now, right? Sure. Yeah, you yeah. keep thinking that. No. I never get used to it. But anyway, um, Dave from uh, Daily Driven Exotics, he actually hit me up, and uh, I might be collabing with him when I go out there cool. to do some legendary stuff, too. So if you watch the champ, hey, it'll be legendary. You know what I mean? Because he definitely told me to hit me up while I'm out. Hit him up while I'm out there. So I'm going to hit him up and see if we can pull out the hat. If we can pull a rabbit out the hat while I'm out there as well. But either way it goes, y'all see, because if I don't make a video with it, y'all know it didn't happen. If I did, you know what happened. Tall guy car views. My dog Bart. Dave, Dave should come over and see in Phoenix. It's not that far. Bring one of his all-wheel drive whippy snap goodie cars, and you guys could have some fun track together. Oh, you're right. That's I know. Smart, I'm, I'm smart man. Yeah, you is. I haven't, got, I haven't got the good idea to get the hell out of the frozen tundra, but I got ideas for it's, racing. That's okay, Bart. That's <laughs> okay. We all got things. Tall guy carbies, yeah. man. I'll see y'all next video. Say bye to him, Bart. See you guys. See y'all, baby. <laughs>